Hello, our dear viewers! Today is a new day, your day to learn and discover more about Science 7. Welcome to our TV High, the school on the air program of Tagum City National High School Division of Tagum City. This is your teacher broadcaster, JC May Fernandez, and we are going to explore fun activities and learn exciting lessons. Come and join us as we take you to another hashtag scientific learning journey. Today, we are about to learn fascinating concepts about scientific ways of acquiring knowledge and solving problems. Are you ready? Let's get started. Our learning objectives are Towards the end of the episode, you are expected to First, identify the steps of scientific method Second, use the scientific method in solving problem through an experiment Third, relate the scientific method to daily life I hope you are safe and well wherever you may be while watching our program now that you are all settled in your homes, bring out your pens and notebooks and secure your learning materials, especially your module in Science 7. Moving on, have you ever had a question about the world? Like, what do plants need to grow? Or, why does sugar dissolve faster in hot water? Don't worry, there's a way to find the answer to these questions used by scientists. Do you want to know it? Great! It is called the scientific method. If you will employ this process, you can be a scientist too. Before we explore this hashtag scientific learning journey, let us define first what science is. Science is a way of thinking and a way of gathering knowledge about the world that is both accurate and reliable. It is the quest to understand and improve our knowledge of the world around us and how the things in it work or why they work the way they do. Further, the scientific method is like a roadmap that you follow to get to that destination. It is the process by which science is carried out, as in other areas of inquiry. Science, through scientific method, can build on previous knowledge and develop a more sophisticated understanding of its topics of study over time. When using the scientific method to carry out your own investigation, the first thing you need to do is observe, then ask questions. Just look at the things around you. Does something make you curious? Does something seem strange to you? Do you ever wonder what causes something or why something happens? Have you ever asked yourself, why is the sky blue? Or, what makes a soda fizzy? Well, the possibilities for observation and questions are endless. Am I right? The scientific method will involve the testing of hypothesis. A hypothesis is an educated guess. It is a preliminary answer to the question you have asked to test its accuracy. However, Keep in mind that it does not matter whether your hypothesis is right or wrong. To continue, the next step after testing the hypothesis is to conduct an experiment. After your experiment, make sure to record your observations and data so that you'll be able to analyze the results. Lastly, you need to draw conclusions where the main aim is to summarize the findings of your experiment and determine whether your hypothesis is accepted or rejected. Now, after having discussed the scientific method, let us assess if you can recall the method by enumerating them. Let us start with 
First, observe. Second, ask questions. Third, testing of hypothesis. Fourth, design and conduct your experiment. Fifth, record and analyze results. And the last is, draw conclusions. Very good! This time, get your pen and paper and let us have an activity. Let's call this, what is it? Are you ready? That's great! As you can see on your screen, there are boxes. All you have to do is write the six basic steps of scientific method inside the box. You are given 60 seconds to finish the task. Timer starts now. Time's up! Let us check your work! Well done! You're able to identify the basic steps of scientific method. Now, our dear students, in this part of the lesson, it's time to apply what you have learned from the discussion about the scientific method. This activity is entitled, Can You Help Me? Direction. Use the scientific method to solve Jenny's problem. Write your answer on a sheet of paper. Scenario Jenny woke up and took a bath before answering her modules for the day. She follows all the preparations before attending the distance learning. For better understanding, she turns on her TV to watch video lessons as she answers her module. However, the TV won't turn on. Let us begin our science investigation. What have you observed in the scenario? Yes, the TV won't turn on. It's time to formulate a question. Example, is something wrong with her electrical outlet? Very good! Let's make our hypothesis. If something is wrong with Jenny's outlet, then when she will plug in her charger, it won't work too. That's right! It's time to test the hypothesis by plugging in her charger into the outlet. As a result, the charger works. Let us draw a conclusion. The electrical outlet works, but the TV wouldn't. The TV might be defective. So, let's reject the hypothesis and make another scientific investigation again. Excellent! You did a good job! I hope you have a great time learning the scientific method. Again, let us remember the basic steps of scientific method, which are Number 1. Make an observation 2. Come up with a question 3. Develop a hypothesis 4. Conduct an experiment 5. Record and analyze the results And number 6. Draw conclusions Remember, 
that scientists and engineers solve problems using a systematic process of empirical investigation known as scientific method. The scientific method is the key to unlock the bodies of knowledge by helping researchers in organizing their thoughts and procedures and by making them confident of thoughts generated from experiments. Yes, you have made it students. Consider yourselves scientists. This time, let us have an assessment to measure what you have learned throughout the session. Are you ready? So, please prepare your quiz paper now and fill out all the important information. Do not forget to write your name and section. I hope you got all the instructions correctly. This will serve as your quiz for today. This is a matching type quiz. Make sure you answer it honestly. Okay? Directions. Match column A with their description in column B. Write the letter of your answer. You are given three minutes to answer this activity. Are you all set? Let's begin. Time's up! Alright, here are the correct answers. You see to it that you check your work honestly. Let's check your answer. Number 1. The answer is B. Ask a question. Number 2. The answer is F. Draw conclusion. Number 3. The answer is letter A. Observation. For number 4, the answer is Analyze results. Number five, the answer is C, hypothesis. 
And for number 6, the answer is letter D, conduct an experiment. Good job, my dear students! I hope you have learned an interesting lesson from our discussion today. Once again, this is your teacher broadcaster, J.C. R. Fernandez from Tagum City National High School. Always remember, stay safe and be healthy everyone. Have a good day and see you on our next lesson. Goodbye!